Welcome into Hawk Talk alongside Jack Keffer. I'm Gabe Sussick. Hyannis falls to the YD Red Sox at Red Wilson Field. 5-1, to one, Jack. The offense was stagnant. Alex Al struggled a little bit in his third start. The only highlight seemed to be the donut burgers. Yeah, and they were delicious and fantastic. But, I mean, Cameron Este, the only multi-hit performance tonight for Hyannis. He had two hits, a double, and a single. I mean, Rodgers with that home run in the ninth inning with two strikes on him and two outs. So there, there wasn't much to show for for the offense tonight. I mean, the last ten batters for Hyannis, they struck out – or excuse me, the last four batters for Hyannis, they struck out ten times. So it's – it just everybody kind of looked dead up there at the plate after the off day, and you know we didn't know how they were going to react to that day off after the offense was so hot as of late, and you know they just come out flat here at Red Wilson Field. Hyannis had two different opportunities, left the bases stranded, could not put a run across the side from the solo shot from Jordan Rogers, and with that we sent it to Nicole Hansen, who got up with manager Chad Gassman. Nicole. Well, I'm here with Coach Gassman on Hawk Talk our, for our interview tonight. Alex Howe starting his first start in quite a few games since June 20th. What were your initial reactions after the start today? I thought Alex was really good. I, I thought uh, I thought YD did a good job putting the ball in play and some balls got through the infield. But I also thought Alex really competed and uh, did a great job um, just persevering through some things. So. The bullpen struggling in the last couple of games, but doing really well shutting down YD in the later innings today. What were your kind of like initial thoughts on that and your thoughts moving forward about how about all the changes happening in the bullpen and them moving forward in the, the rest of the season? Well, I thought I thought today that we saw a lot of good things. I mean, um, uh, Barlow and Johnson and uh, Gilbert all threw well, so that that's positive. So uh, that's what you got to take from today. Um, you know, the one thing is when, when you're playing at YD with a little fence and stuff like that, we left too many runners on. We just um, we didn't take advantage of um, all those base runners, and that was ultimately you know, one of the things that really hurt us today. Situational hitting, another thing that didn't really quite work out for the team today. What are you going to tell them moving forward into the All-Star break and for the rest of the season to be able to work on situational hitting and get back into it again? Yeah, don't strike out. <laughs> Short enough. Put it in play. Uh, no, hey, listen, I, they, they've been really good. I mean, this offense has been really good, and we know that. But yeah, the day wasn't one of our better days. But you know, all those guys, I mean, have we've been hitting really well. And it was just one of those days I maybe we were trying to do too much and um, – when we just needed a situational hit, like you said, we maybe tried to do too much, but uh, but we're, we're fine, and uh, they, they know what they need to do. Lastly, standings all very close. Bourne, Wareham, and Hyannis all very close together. Katua creeping up as well. Going into the All-Star game in the last couple of uh, weeks of the season, what are you going to really tell these guys to be able to move up as far in the standings as you can moving into the playoffs? Well, if we win every game from here on out, we should be okay. That's what I'm going to tell them. So... Uh, no, if we keep winning, we'll be fine. If we don't win, we won't be fine. So we can't worry about what they're doing. we got to worry about what we're doing. And that's basically the message. All right, great. Thanks so much, Coach. Back to you guys. Thanks, Nicole. Now Jack Bourne and where I'm currently tied right now. So the Highness will have to see where they stand at the end if Wareham gets ahead of them or Bourne jumps them back into third place. But they go home, play Bruce tomorrow, and then they head to Doran Park on Friday before the All-Star game. Highness trying to gain some kind of momentum before they go into the final stretch. Yeah, it's going to be two really tough games. Brewster tomorrow, they're 0 for 3 against them. Brewster has just had a field day hitting against them. I mean, 20% of their runs have come against Hyannis. You throw Gavin, the left-hander, we'll see how he does. But then Bourne on Friday is going to be just as tough of, as, as a, of a matchup because you don't know who's starting on the mound yet. I mean, we're not sure what's going to happen. We'll probably see a lot of guys coming out of the bullpen against Bourne, and that could go one of two ways. That could go really well as you change up the guys, and you know, Bourne is going to see a ton of new pitching, or that could go south where you see guys struggling to find rhythm on the mound, giving up a lot of hits, a lot of runs here and there. So two tough games. Hyannis, the offense is really going to have to be good. We'll see how they fare the final two games before the All-Star Game in Chatham. We hope you'll join us for both of them tomorrow at McKeon Park at 6 p.m. start. For Jack Keffer, I'm Gabe Sustick. Good night.